They're our closest animal relatives, the chimps, and locked inside their world are secrets to ours in their simple gestures of kindness, raising questions about human choice. Dan Harris helps us decipher it all. Let a bunch of chimps into a yard filled with watermelons. He's got two of them. And while a few of them may hoard the fruit at first. She's so greedy. Oh, she's going to go for three. Eventually, they will share. If she would sit on three watermelons and not share with anybody, that, I think that would be a, a revolt at some point. Professor DeWall, a pioneer in the topic of animal empathy, says this is just one example of how animals display something approaching a moral sense. These pictures show chimps making up after a fight, hugging, reaching out a hand, kissing. Chimps will also mourn the loss of loved ones. If one of the members of a group dies, the rest doesn't eat for a day. They're very silent, they don't eat. DeWall also designed this experiment with capuchin monkeys, where this female gets a choice between a token that will result in just her getting a treat, or a token that results in both her and her friend getting treats. Over time, if you do this often enough, the monkeys start to prefer the pro-social token. Pro-social? Yes. Yeah, so meaning that it helps somebody else in their group? Yes. All of this has Professor DeWall posing a provocative question. You're basically arguing that the building blocks of morality are present in our animal ancestors, and you're using that to raise the question, do we need religion? Yeah. I'm not sure that religion is at the root of morality, because I, I personally think that morality probably existed long before we had religions. If there is no God, if there is no divine system of morality, who defines right or wrong? I don't think we need God for that. He says we evolved to be moral, that humans, like primates, are group animals, and that groups that work well together tend to survive longer. But here's the twist. Professor DeWall still thinks religion may be useful for encouraging morality. All human societies have some form of religion, so what does it contribute to human society? That's the question. One biologist with a theory that angers both atheists and the faithful. Dan Harris, ABC News, Atlanta.